Is this it? Is this going to be the end of Mercenaries 2? Where's it want me to go? Bloody miles away. Right. Helicopter? Have I, I don't think I've got any helicopters in my stockpile, have I? Nope. Come on, him. Let us. This could be a long drive. Whatever they're paying you, you're worth it. Hey! hey. You know, I could just do with somebody like in my life who just says things like that to me oh. on a regular basis. Just whatever they're paying you, you're worth it. Oh, thanks. Just, you know, when the self-doubt gets too much. Hey, um, I'm driving here. His legs are uh, a little bit exposed. Ace. Of course, their helipad doesn't have anything on it. Is that an APC? Has it got anybody in it? Yes, yes it does. Oh, it's got somebody in it and they don't like me. I'm taking it though. I don't care. Again, 5k, not worth it. <laughs> I got 30. How much have I got in the bank? 30. 62 million. I'm alright. Oh, no, they're, they're friendlies. Oops. I feel like very much the way the story is set up, I kind of just want to be hostile with everybody. Apart from maybe the Venezuelan locals, who unfortunately are embroiled in a war over oil that they probably have very little care about. But I don't want to lose my APC. Alright. Oh, 
far away are we? Oh my god, we're not that far. This might be a four vehicle trip though. We've already gotten through... I feel like if I drive that, it's going to last about three seconds. Let's do it. Let's let's uh, let's enforce that this is at least a four four vehicle drive. At least it's a little bit faster than APC. It's got that going for it. Not much faster. Right, okay, so this is where the mission started last time, wasn't it? Ah, am I under the radar because they think I'm in, I'm in a, a Chinese vehicle? They rebuilt this pretty bloody quick. I leveled this place at least eight times. Can you shut him up? Grapple! Grapple! Please don't be a difficult quick time event. No, I can handle that one. Where are we going? So wait for the missile to come at me. Oh, crap. I know what Mateus needs to uh, invest in. Parachute. Oh, he's still got his pistol! For Christ's sake! Poor guy. I'm stuck on the rocks. Right, let's see if we can get up on this tank without getting absolutely obliterated. Not really. the buttons this one This is pretty triumphant. I'm getting shot by. Is there people on top of the bun the bunker? On top of the bunker. Oh yeah, there is. 
surely I need to get out and use the, the thing. Aha! Precision attack launched. No, you're not having my tank. Where the smoke still got me? <laughs> Christ! Hello. Here's your money, mercenary. Little good may it do you. Until we meet again. <laughs> oh, we haven't some more quick time events. Jesus, this is a bad cutscene. I mean, how long was that helicopter spinning? And there's just bullets stuck in the air? Milano is dead. Get your checkbook ready. It's payday. God, that's rough. Not even a little worried? No. Nope. It's when there's no death and destruction that I start to worry. Okay, now we can go. Well, all right. Okay, job well done. All safe and sound. Matthias, how do you feel about India? Okay, but this time we get paid in advance. All right. And that's the end of that, I guess. <laughs> I am very conflicted on that game. But I hope this isn't giving it away too much. Well, I mean, it's almost time to rank it. But at various points playing through this, it was number one with a bullet. Um, in fact... Oh, okay, I can skip the the credits. Let's see what happens. See if anything happens. I don't know whether it would dump you back in the world, to be honest. It might do. But then, are there high-value targets that you can't get because we've basically just eradicated a couple of the um, the factions? I don't know. Oh, it's... Okay. Right, yeah, okay. So it literally boots you out, and that's the end of the game. Makes sense. Okay. Let us take it over to the list. So, yeah, as I was saying, like throughout... I mean, we're not even going to bother scrolling down. We're going to keep it above Soldier of Fortune payback. Um... At several points during this, I would have been happy to suggest that this would be number one. But the only thing that has given me pause is that there's been a lot of frustration, especially later on in the game. I don't know how much of that frustration is. This could have been so much better. Uh, partly just it needed more polish, it needed more time. Um, Partly... I feel like it's a 
it's less of a, a kind of polished thing and more of a direction of travel in terms of this is a game that really should be leveraging its explosions more than it does and maybe that's a player thing maybe that's just i was not doing it properly but i don't know they've got this kind of interesting tech around explosions and i'm sure if this had come out in 2006 it would have been pretty impressive um you know you put it up against things like the original gears of war um it wouldn't have looked out of place it might have looked a little bit rough but but you know mid 2008 we're talking like metal gear solid 4 um battlefield bad company it's stuff had moved on so i guess the question is do i think it's better than silent hill homecoming and it's a tricky one because i think the highlights are better the lowlights are worse it's more extreme than silent hill homecoming not like a extreme like a 90s kid um it's less bland than Battlefield Hardline. But again, Battlefield Hardline is more accomplished in what it sets out to do. It's just bland. Um, I don't think there's enough of Her Majesty's spiffing really to, to compete with, like, th- with this game. So I'm really vying for like, the top three spots, really, is what I'm trying to figure out. <sighs> do I think it's better than Silent Hill Homecoming? The highlights definitely are. It's frustrating. It's broken. It doesn't run very well. And the story is kind of terrible. But you're not in it for the story. You're in it for the explosions and for the kind of... It's more fun as a video game than Silent Hill Homecoming was. Mm, I think it is the new number one. I, I think it is probably... It's really tough. Um, partly because it's been a little while since I played Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, but I do think it's a better game. I think it could have been miles better. And that's probably the most frustrating thing, is that you know even if I'm putting it at number one on this list, it's still frustrating to see um a game with so much promise deliver i don't want to say so little but yeah it could have been so much more and there's certainly if they'd have had a chance to iterate and do it again you could see some really good kind of open world sandbox explosion style stuff that you know a lot of people weren't doing so there we are our new number one Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Um, I'm still conflicted about it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let it go. I do think it's better than Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, And yeah, that's been a long one. (laughs) Several episodes got way longer than I had intended. It's kind of to be expected from an open world style game. I mean, have we played many open world games? I suppose Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, the getaway is not really that kind of open world because it's so mission based Um, so yeah probably to be expected by the the type of game we were playing but yeah actually fun to go and revisit that and it's given me a better appreciation of it than I had when I first played it because I definitely had a bad experience with it um, when I played it back in 2009 maybe Um, yeah it's it's cool it's got its moments and it's i'm quite interested to give another one of their games a go i don't think it'll be the next one i do because it's you know i don't want to put two really long games next to each other but uh, i've got a copy of the saboteur which was this studio's kind of swan song and i'd be really curious to put them up against each other because certainly from memory the saboteur technically is a lot better um so I'll be interested to see if I get more out of that one than out of this. Um, because that also fits within the the realms of playing Devil's Advocate. It's it's under a 75 on Metacritic. So, yeah, that'll be an interesting one. But I think next time we will play something slightly different. Still haven't decided what that will be yet. But, yeah, 
that was fun. I, I enjoyed that. And um, I can I can finally rest easy knowing that I have completed Mercenaries 2. So that's, uh, that's another one off the list. So yeah, thank you for watching if you stuck all the way through that. That's, I mean, I don't even know how many parts it's going to end up being. It's in the double figures, so quite a few. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching through that. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll pick another one out soon. Cheers.